This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. I'm going on my people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing alright. You see, I'm telling certain things reach at the doorstep of the people them who are the lawmakers of this country. Then I hold it, then you are going to see a change. Yeah man, we live in a failed state, people, me are telling the truth. Cause when a man get up and see a headline like this, the Clarendon man who was in 2015 sentenced to life of hard labor for incest with his teen daughter who, listen, who ironically was the child of his stepdaughter who me had impregnate years before on Friday had his sentence reduced by the court of appeal to 15 years in prison at hard labor in a new turn of event. When somebody see a headline like this, what is I tell the people them say there is no justice within the justice system. You see, until the judge and the jury and the police and the whole them live up town and them ACOs start see people them take matters in them own hand by funning out some of them boy and just go drop it on a station and say yo, this is as a result of what happened to my child. Yeah. That the people them have to start to take matters of them own hand. Because when the gossip woman they pick them up and they put them behind bars, you just give them a little all day. Who no give them a little all day? Because me, I only know what's hard labor on the road there. The people them been seeing it. All the things they do a party, I drink this and I drink that. Whilst the victim out there has suffer. The victim family out there has suffer. And then you know, you have some little dirty family to see them way, you know. We can't cover up certain things, you know. I'm telling you, you know, the day I go come, you know. Oh no dear, I go come. You understand? But people, me do the some of the news because I worry about things I go on the news. I worry about shout out. I worry about this. I worry about that. How do you not get to everything? When you get to the next review, draw the course of the day. But anyway, like I would up on the client and end, I could start the client and car. This boy and I have no sense. A 26 year old supermarket supervisor who was shot two weeks ago and survived was killed Church Street, New Longsville during the island wide lockdown on Sunday night. Hold on, not Church Street in a Kingston, not Church Street in a Clarendon people. That is Orlando Shan, otherwise called Paul of Church Street, New Longsville. Report that at about 7.30 p.m. residents heard an explosion and called the police. On the arrival, Shan body was seen lying on the street, what appeared to be gunshot wound to the upper body. But hold on, you know, people no should even call the police because nobody never fit up on the road. Where Shan had up on the road? Shan go give a film three points. Yes, Sean go give away his three points. Two spent casing and two live runs were taken from the scene by the police. Reporter that Sean was also shot about two weeks ago by unknown assailant. The police are investigating. No man, I see people them come back for him. Is the same people them come back for him? Sean don't have no sense. All you should have do is pack your things and leave out of the company. But then again, you see when boy mix up, them get what them deserve. Two men posed as police officer and dressed in gear resembling that that one by lawmen invade a couple homes Sunday night and ransack the premises and rob them of a large sum of money. The incident occurred in Highgate, St. Mary at about 11.20 p.m. Long after curfew hours, no police are up on the road, but we we'll land there. Where the police take the out? Sorry, police take the sleep. You know, me ask the people them something. Now, what time curfew they start on Sunday? Now, two o'clock and them, them say lockdown go right back till Tuesday. So, tell me now. They are business people, they have sense, a lot of educated down to one business too, you know, yeah man, may I be honest with you know. Reported that the couple was at home when they were awakened by a knock on the door from person who identified themselves as police. Let me tell you know something, them are turn out them. Them are turn out there until they light out, me not open no door, so I don't understand why you know open the door. The police officers instructed them to open the door. The woman comply and two masked men enter, tired in what appeared to be police clothing and carrying handguns. So hold on there. Me know so you not to live far from the road and I know so you not parking on the yard. So you know I tell me so you not put a peep through the window and say if you see that little blue light something there. You know just run gang and pull the door stuff. The man ran start the house and demanded money and managed to flee in a waiting car with over 300,000. The police are investigating. This is another thing. You know love keep too much money on the yard. Yes, I know I phone the money so the door come come cussing on the comment section. And I know say the bank they close and them something. But they say the same that people they want to work with. 
And them are setting up to get Robin Hood because they know how much money they make for the day. So them tell the people, them say, yo, go around Panda the NZ. They don't really have the camera in them yard. No police around there. Go and go rob them. The employee, them are speaking of employee and employer. 20 year old, every price an office clerk of Greenville Road, 9 miles in Bull Bay, St. Andrew, has been charged with embezzlement. Yes, embezzlement. In connection with that incident, 7 miles Bull Bay in the parish on Tuesday, May 4. Reports from the Arborview police are that Price completed the sale of goods amounting over 600,000 Jamaican dollars. However, Price reportedly handed over 127 Jamaican dollars to the complainant. Upon further checks, it is discovered that the amount handed over by Price did not match the material sold on the establishment. Tuesday, May 20, Price was arrested and subsequently charged. Price appeared before the St. Andrew Parish Court on Thursday, May 27. Me tell you something. Them a thief in boy if you get slapped boy, you know. Me not understand why is it we feel like we need to pick them up and care all of them go behind bars. Go do what? Go eat taxpayers' money. When Adam just slapped them away from them young, when they think a joke, we now stop say that. A 17 year old boy is now in custody after he was accompanied by his parents to the police station in relation to the shooting of a one year old girl in Denham Town, Kingston, last Wednesday. Kingston Western Police followed investigation and called for the youngster to turn himself in before 6 pm last Thursday evening. He is a juvenile and he is in custody. He turned himself in with his parents. The investigation is not complete. Completed yet. I have to do some more work until about next week. Commanding officer of Kingston Western Police Division Superintendent Michael Phipps told us. So, what land they know? From Michael Phipps, Dunga Denham Town, we are going to boom now. What go on at Denham Town, go link Superintendent McGregor. We made the appeal because the commissioner and the operations officer, Mr. Bailey, we went around that location on, on, on Friday and an appeal was made. I made a personal appeal. Um, one person um, has since turned in himself. Um, he has been treated as a person of interest as we speak. We're getting statements. There are people who saw what took place. Um, there's another that is slated to come in. Um, the parents have been communicating with me. So we are making inroads. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, there's a intra inter gang warfare that is going on in the space and it um community that is thrown through from each other that are uh, who have found it necessary to be fighting against each other. We are trying to see how best we can intercede in this and bring it to an end. Yes, because this is an attack of the state. And, it, and as I said in my discourse earlier, that it is not something that would link to the frankly known people. We view it very seriously, and that is the reason why the, the commissioner came with his deputy to give support to the police officers, to encourage them, and we will continue to, to search for these youngsters who thought it necessary to do this and would want to see it as an aberration but we are not taking it lightly. And them mumma and poopa you know say them pick me a criminal. No for them no cause them not work, but yet still them are carrying this and carrying that and nobody not give them nothing and take them and take paper things. But better if the police step in that place and slap them when you see how quick. Them organize the personal association and look at that you idiot diesel boy them to come come black road and draw all tire and all fridge in a road and come make a bag of nice bet. I bet to know, but me tell you this. Don't have no more. All of them look up there when I have could have been avoided. Yes, every single one of them could have been avoided. And only can be avoided to not take yourself out of this planet, man. Yes, we don't need to go. We don't need to go. But so, let me tell you something. The commissioner really do nothing still. The commissioner not really do nothing. Me and you, me and you know that. So now come give him no credit for the work work what you are put in. I mean, no, say, you know, some criminal them to you know, so here, what? Line up a little thing and slap them, okay? People are going to ask Stephanie, don't need to worry. When you soon get back, Stephanie, she gone for a little course. We say, not for a little course, so she don't make no leap of mistake when she read again, alright? So, no need to worry. When you soon get back some more, Stephanie. But anyway, shoot out a garden town, people. Like developing story, three persons were shot. Yes, three persons shot in a garden town. And a big shoot out yesterday, too. Over Spanish town. Yeah, man, so no worry on yourself. Me, I go go no more than that. Headline there in the next review, hopefully. How when we get the full details, we make gonna know how much people get slapped. Away. Yes, can enough of them to get slapped, you know, because they mix up very, very mix up. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, come and check us out, all right.